Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have great news this morning. Trisha has updated me on Tony. Actually, she put this up last night sometime. It came through. It, it says 9-11 p.m. So it was right after I went to bed. Well, I turn my computer off, go to bed, and I pray before I go to sleep. But I stopped computer work at nine o'clock usually <laughs> anyway she said i heard back from the hospital no sign of a stroke his blood pressure is very high and through and they think that his brain was not getting enough oxygen and that's why he kept saying he felt like he was in a dream he just couldn't recall information because of the lack of oxygen. They put him on blood pressure meds, are keeping him overnight, and keeping an eye on him. They need to be sure he's on the right dose. The guy told me that he was already improving. So it's probably a male nurse. They usually are the ones to call and give a report like that. So I am very grateful, and aren't we all? Prayers were answered. I will know more tomorrow. She had had a dream where the night before, folks, of a groom from a wedding cake was, if I remember right, the groom from a wedding cake was laying in a casket. Can you imagine then your husband goes to have this minor little surgery. Here's my question. Weren't they monitoring his blood pressure while he was there? He was having something, vein stripping or... Some women have it done for looks. But he was having it because the veins were popping out. You know, varicose veins. I think she didn't call it that, but I'm thinking that's probably what it was. They were popping out to the point where they were hurting him. So he, he finally got that done because of COVID. They had to keep putting it off, but he finally got that done. He comes home and then he's like this. So I'm like, his blood pressure is so high that he's not getting oxygen to his brain. Weren't they monitoring him? Surely. Who knows? I mean, your vital signs can change that quickly. But here's what Trisha wanted you all to know. She thought there was a six-hour window to get to the hospital, get diagnosed, and get that clot-busting medicine. No, it's only three hours. In fact, I thought it was only one hour, but I thought, well, maybe they've got a new kind and they made it six hours. Well, no, the, she was told it's a three-hour window. So, <laughs> yeah, you're so cute. Go on, play with your piece of goose. He got something off his goose and he's throwing it in the air. It's <laughs> so cute. Anyway, sorry. I don't mean to get distracted. He's just so darn cute. And he's right here. And uh, he's distracting. Okay. All right. But this is good news. So I'm in a good mood. And I'm so glad because I went to bed really worried about Trisha. I felt like God was going to be merciful to Tony because he has he had a, a, a brain injury and he's... Anyway, the point is, if you have, look up the signs of, let's do it now together. Signs of a stroke. This is just for anyone that wants to know. Because clearly, we just cannot pinpoint when Jesus is coming. This just happened. It could be tomorrow for one of you. Let's hope not. Because the devil is... 
going about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Now, he is attacking the saints left and right. How does the Bible put it? He's wearing down the saints. Okay. So let's just all be prepared, okay, for anything and pray against everything. All right, stroke signs and symptoms, fast, fast results, just to click away. Hmm. So more, oh, come on, seriously? Early signs of a stroke. More pre-stroke warning signs. I just keep getting more things to click on. Why don't it just give me... Um, I know... Okay, I know this. If your jaw droops like this. And you just can't get it even like it should be. That's a sign. If you're drooling, your jaw don't drop, but you're drooling, and you can't stop drooling, head to the emergency room. It may seem like nothing, but it's something. If your speech starts being slurred, like you just, you just can't, can't, like you're drunk, head to the emergency room. You have a three-hour window to get there. Get diagnosed and get that medicine in you to bust a clot. And I wish I could. Why isn't WebMD just pulling up? I mean, seriously, let's see if we can try it that way. I, I know I'm missing some. WebMD signs of a stroke. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> Help. It just, it won't pull up any. Symptoms of a stroke. Signs of having a stroke. It just keeps giving me more and more things to click on. Characteristics of a stroke. Early signs of a stroke in women. Oh my goodness. I didn't know there was a difference. Okay, um, numbness or tingling all of a sudden in a limb. Like there could be a blood clot up here that's causing numbness in a limb. Could be your leg. That would mean it'd be way up here. You don't want that either. So, numbness and tingling in an extremity, arm or leg. Oh, oh, here's a biggie. Headache. If you get a headache that's like the worst headache you've ever had or close to it, you just got this terrible throbbing headache all of a sudden, that's another one. We pray against all these symptoms in all of you. Right now, I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I, I declare that not one of these symptoms will come upon any of you or your loved ones. We, we bind the works of Satan and command him and his demons to stay away from our homes. I place a hedge of protection around you all every single night, but you do it too. I plead the blood of Jesus over you in your homes and on your property. And I ask, Father, to keep hedges of protection around you made up of the warrior angels. And then outside of them, I say, Lord, um, or Father, place that extra hedge of protection made up of the wall of Holy Spirit fire from heaven as high as we need it and, and enclosing us 
and closing it off at the top and going as low as we need it to cover all plumbing and underground things and coming together to give us encapsulate us in that wall of Holy Spirit fire from heaven. You keep pleading the blood of Jesus over yourself and your family, your pets, any other animals you're raising. Like if you have a herd of cows, plead the blood over them. You don't want a bunch of demons going into your cows, do you? And then you go out there to milk them and you stampede time. No, don't think it can't happen. It happened when Jesus walked the earth. It can happen again because Satan is in control of them. He can order them to go into your animals. You understand? Okay, so let's see. From head to toe, headache, blurred vision. All of a sudden, ooh, this... What's going on with my glasses? I can't. You wipe your glasses clean. You put them on and you're. No, I can't see out of this eye. No, nothing. That's another one. So we've got headache, blurred vision, droopy mouth, drooling from your mouth, slurred speech, numbness and tingling in an extremity. That's all I can think of. So if you all know of any others, please put them in the comments section. And uh, if they're in more than one comment, I will combine them in one comment and pin it to the top. Okay? Because that old sneaky snake will do what he can. And this word... Declaring that he shall cease and desist from all harm he's trying to do to the saints of God. In Jesus' name I declare it. Okay, we thank you God. We praise you that Tony just needed blood pressure medicine. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We praise you. We worship you. We glorify your holy name. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every single one of you. And over Tony and Trisha, myself, all our pets, all our animals, over our homes. And oh Jesus I'm just so thankful and grateful. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. 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 Okay. With that I say I will talk to you later. Goodbye brothers and sisters in Christ.